they're weird and floppy looking, but without them, we would be completely useless and we would never be able to pull this move off. So let's discuss a few things about them. First, the design of your five digit hands are about 340 million years old. If you look deep into our evolutionary past, you'll see evidence of five digits in jawed vertebrates. Now five digits became the gold standard in tetrapods, AKA four footed creatures like us, when our ancestors slithered out of the water and onto land and fins evolved into five toes. Sure, there have been six and seven digits along the way, but five became the evolutionary agreed upon architecture. There are even something called Hox genes that constrain the amount of fingers and toes that we sprout, essentially giving an organism a blueprint and telling it exactly where each digit should go. No more, no less. Second, the number of fingers and toes humans have correlates with base number systems around the world. In fact, most humans count in a base number system of 10. So we count up to nine before shifting over to a new column. Now think of the word digit and its translation into many other languages, which refers not just to a toe or a finger, but also numerals. In fact, in Greenlandic, the word for seven, Arfinik Marluk, translates as second hand too. So let's face it, our entire financial system is based on, well, fingers and toes. Third, an extra digit on your hand wouldn't be all that helpful. Take a look at the way that your fingers fold over your palm. It's the perfect architecture for grasping, but add an extra thumb or finger and things would get cumbersome fast. Mark Changizi, a theoretical neurobiologist, came up with a simple mathematical formula called the limb law to predict the optimal number of limbs a body needs for orienting itself with the outside world based on size. So if limbs are very long relative to a body, the ideal number of limbs is six, say like an ant or a cockroach. As the limbs get shorter, their number rises toward infinity like a millipede. Fourth, humans have a power grip that other primates don't have. Humans have shorter hands and longer, more powerful thumbs than gorillas and chimps. And because of this, we are endowed with that power grip. Not only can we grab an object, but our trusty thumbs can actually add more pressure and strength and direction. And it's this precision and grip that has allowed us to make and manipulate tools. And tool use is one of the primary reasons our species has been so successful, particularly when it comes to gaming. Fifth, hand talking isn't just a trait of the dramatic humans among us. There's an idea that before there was spoken language, hand gestures were used to communicate with meaning that we are all hardwired to be hand talkers. In fact, the Broca's area in humans is used not just to control speech, but also to interpret hand gestures. And if we look at great apes, we can see a communication system rich in hand gestures, which leads to the view that our hands and our fingers have come to define not only the way in which we create number systems, but also the way that we express ourselves. Hey, what about you? Are you a big hand talker? If so, I have a challenge for you. I want you to try for maybe a day, at least an hour, not to talk with your hands. You can stuff them in your pockets or behind your back. Just do not use them and then report back here. Let us know in the comments below how that went. Also, to keep the videos a coming, make sure to subscribe.